Hi, everybody. Today is Tuesday, December 20th, 2022. And what I'd like to do for you today is to do a bit of a website tour of Elixir Club as we get closer to our official launch in January. Um, so first things first, uh, the domain itself is elixirclub.org. When you visit the website, you will see a layout similar to this. Uh, basically, we are hosting this through a platform called Circle, which is like a forum community platform. Um, and yeah, and so when we start off, uh, you'll probably start with the Start Here page highlighted. Uh, this will kind of go over the mission, which I will repeat for the sake of uh, clarity. Uh, Elixir Club is an outcome-oriented community that helps Elixir developers finish their side projects. Working on a side project by yourself is surrounded by risk, from personal loss of focus to no accountability, endless time extensions, and exploding scope. Even a completed side project might be considered a failure if it does not find its audience or fails to provide a reasonable return on your time investment. Elixir Club is a community where people can plant their flag, declare their side project goals, and meet fellow Elixir developers climbing the same mountain. Through a mixture of accountability, education, and celebrations, they'll be part of a group that fosters successful habits to an ultimately successful side project. So yeah, so we're basically a community for Elixir developers who are looking for accountability on their side projects. Um, this is just starting out, so we're still kind of finding our way, but I've announced it. I've gotten people to sign up, say they're interested, and so we're going to go forward with this. Um, so start here has got uh, the basic expectations of the group, which you'll pretty much figure out through this tour. Um, but then it's also got links to uh, subscribe. So this is a paid for uh, private community. Um, from the start page, you can click on the uh, join for 19 a month uh, button, and that'll take you to a subscribe page. Um, and so most of some of these are public spaces. Some of them are private spaces, and I'll kind of go through that as we work through it. Um, but yeah, so start here has got the basic uh, kind of mission statement. Announcements is great for you know group announcements. Uh, I'm sure this video will be listed there shortly. Uh, and then there's an FAQ, which basically goes over a whole bunch of random stuff, like are the meetings going to be recorded? Um, short answer is uh, the co-working sessions are not going to be recorded, but the topical presentations will be recorded and made available within the member section. Um, and uh, a couple of like, demos of how Circle works and things of that nature. Um, for yourself, for people like working on a side project members, uh, there is the public content, which... So this is going to be available on the public internet. Anybody can link to it. Um, these are non-project specific kind of like articles and things. But the side project roadmap is basically a place where we can kind of like map the the journey that anyone will take um, with their project. And it kind of breaks down, you know, the responsibilities of a side project, which basically are shaping the work, doing the work and learning from the work. And so in each part of these, in each section of these like life cycle events, um, we'll kind of describe like the things that you can do to move your project forward. And then the involvement, you know, Elixir can have, Elixir Club can have in that process. So um, this is going to kind of evolve over time, but it's definitely in a pretty good uh, starting spot. Uh, then we've got kind of like an op generic kind of like project management blog which will, you know, go over um, different, uh, just like concepts that are, you know, non-project specific. So like how to set up things like Circle CI, um, or not Circle CI, but like GitHub Actions. Um, there's, you can see here, there's a post basically on making tiny tickets relative to your, your project and so forth. Um, and then the final kind of like public area is uh, share a resource, and these are just random resources that could be useful to you as you kind of approach your side project. Uh, there's a couple on here now, which are just like open source projects that you can check out if you're looking for kind of some inspiration there. The members stuff is where obviously the heart of the, the club is. So um, these are kind of like outlines of the major uh, like, like heartbeats of the community. Um, so one of the first ones is, is we encourage all of our members to post uh, weekly project updates. And this basically just walks, this is basically a description of like your project's goal, how you're feeling, stuff that you've accomplished since your last post, uh, your goals for the next week, um, you know, what you're trying to do for, you know, what you're trying to accomplish. 
and then any help that you're looking for other uh, from other members. Um, the idea is that you'll post these about once a week, and then after you post uh, four of them, we will officially induct you into the like members pro- member projects uh, gallery. Um, and that way we'll have kind of like a kind of a collection of everybody's project and all a list of all of the uh, updates uh, relative to it. Uh, there's also explicit sections for asking for help. So if you have a specific technical question or looking for some advice on how to approach something, you can post that there. There's also a section for code review trades. So if you want to barter your time with another developer, um, you know, exchanging an hour of your time for an hour of theirs, or you just want to exchange like PR reviews, um, that's a good place to do that. Then we've got our events. So we're going to have two styles of events with within Elixir Club. Uh, one of them is co-working. And co-working sessions are basically, um, you show up for an hour, it's basically an hour long. And for in the first five to 10 minutes, people introduce their, you know, what they're trying to accomplish for the hour. Then we kind of like turn the camera off or the microphone off and you do the work. And then you come back at the end of the hour and you say, you know, what you were able to accomplish. Uh, there'll also be the ability for breakout rooms. So if people do want to like pair program or, you know, talk through like a bigger problem, uh, we can accom- we can accommodate that as well. Uh, the co-working events happen twice a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays. For From an Eastern time perspective, the Tuesday ones are a little bit earlier in the morning at 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. The Thursday ones are a little later in the evening. Uh, this was done to accommodate uh, time zones as best as we could. So we've got people coming in from a lot of different time zones. Um, you can see like the 11 a.m. one, you know, is like open to people in Central Europe as well as people on the Pacific Coast. Um, the evening one is a little bit more restrictive for them, but does kind of like make the Pacific Coast a little bit more palatable if uh, if they're not a morning person. Um, and those could change over time, but that's kind of where we're starting on day one. And then the second type of event is like presentational events. So this first one is like an introduction to GitHub projects and how that works. Um, these sessions will be recorded for members. Um, and yeah, and so we'll do, we'll do presentational topics probably like once a month, maybe twice a month if there's a lot of interest in, in specific areas. Um, but that's kind of another way to kind of get some education. Uh, and then when we're done, the recordings will be posted here and you can view them and uh, check them out if you happen to miss them. Um, but that's where we are. Uh, you can, you know, check it out. Uh, you can join. Uh, when you hit join, it'll take you to a, you know, a Stripe, um, you know, form <laughs> and you can sign up. Uh, the cost is $19 a month, or if you want to, you can play with an annual subscription to save a little bit of extra money. Uh, and that will unlock all of the other kind of member sections. So, uh, that was a lot. Uh, I want to thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any questions about Elixir Club, definitely let me know. Other than that, have a great night and a good holiday. And we'll see you in January. Bye-bye.